What is up, YouTube? I know it has been a long time since I've actually pushed out a video, but let me, let me explain a little bit what's been going on. Um, first of all, I've just been really busy with work and everything and haven't had a lot of time to do anything for the channel. You know, uh, I took some vacation time when I got back from my work trip. Um, and then I started having some back problems or back pain. And I've been going to physical therapy for that. And I've just been really kind of, you know, frustrated about that because it's prevented me from doing the things that I want to do, like making videos for you guys. And uh, working out and going to the gym and going to the beach. That's one of my favorite things to do. Um, but today is a special day because it's going to be a new video for you guys. And uh, I know it's been a long time since I've made one, so I do apologize for that. And I do appreciate all the new subscribers that are new to the channel. Um, I really appreciate your guys' support and everything. Um, so let me give you kind of an idea of, of what's going down today and in the very near future. Um, so first thing, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have, would have seen uh, my most recent post of wheels and tires. Those are going to be coming soon. Um, I haven't put them on yet because as of right now, they're too big for my car without a lift kit, which brings me to number two. Uh, a lift kit will be coming. Um, it's actually on back order right now. Um, last, I talked to the company um, yesterday and the waiting on one more part to come through. Um, it's actually coming from Australia. So once that comes in, they'll ship it out to me. And then I have a local company in the town that I live in um, that's gonna install everything for me. Um, I just don't have the tools or the knowledge to be able to do all of that um, on my own. So I'm having them do it professionally. Uh, but I'll def definitely give you guys uh, a reveal video, I guess, uh, if you want. Um, kind of showing you what it looks like with it all on there and then giving you kind of a breakdown of, you know, cost and uh, pricing and and different uh, things that I went with for what reasons and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so that's number two. Number three is what we're doing today. Um, I actually ordered this part a long time ago, probably, I think it was in April actually when I ordered it. And uh, it is actually a rear bumper for uh, my Xterra with the the rear swing arm so I can put my spare tire on there. I know um, in recent videos uh, you would have seen the spare tire on the roof um, but I actually took that down and I took the roof basket off and I put a surfboard rack on top um, for the summertime because I do enjoy surfing and going to the beach a lot um, and surfboard was just not going to fit in the back especially if I had passengers. So that's what I've been doing, and I've just been sticking the rear tire in the back, or sorry, the spare tire in the back. Um, so I got, I have this uh, rear bumper on the way. I'm actually going to pick it up now um, to go all the way to Richmond, Virginia to go pick this up. Um, which is not too far of a drive, but we're gonna make it happen. Um, so that's what we're on our way to now. Um, and then I'll kind of give you an update once I pick it up and I'll kind of go through an install of how to remove the stock bumper and hitch if you have one and then how to install the new one. Um, but until then, stay tuned. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching again, like I said, and I do appreciate all the new subscribers and everything. Um, if you're going to like this video, uh, feel free to drop a a like down below and a comment um, of what you think or if you think of anything else that I could do to the car um, just go ahead and drop a comment down there below and let me know what you think all right let's flash forward to pick up the bumper
right, guys, just got to the UPS freight store, uh, pickup location. Um, I'm gonna go in and talk to them and then hopefully come out with the uh, rear bumper. Um, stay tuned and we'll, I'll see you back at the house and we'll begin installing this thing, all right? All right, everybody, just picked it up. And let me tell you, this thing is actually pretty heavy. I wasn't expecting it to be that heavy, but it's pretty heavy. You can see it, it's kind of just laying back there. And uh, so now we're gonna take it back home and uh, hopefully we'll get it installed. Uh, hopefully it can just be a one person job. I don't know if it is or not, but we'll see what we can do. Um, and then obviously I got the spare tire right there, just in case we did need it today. I didn't feel comfortable not bringing it with me so it is kind of just stacked up right there but that is that uh let me just talk about this freight uh center real quick man this thing is like once I, I it was easy to find as far as like you know using gps and everything but like once i got there i it was like almost impossible to find the main office like i found like the main building um, but there was no like, um, like good like signage, I guess, um, kind of telling me where to go. So I ended up walking into like four different entrances. And I was like, whoops, that's not the right place. Um, and then I finally figured out where it was and they were super friendly and super helpful. And I do appreciate that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, but the only complaint I had was just that it was almost impossible to find um, where to go. So if you're watching this UPS, uh, better signage for your customers is always appreciated. Um, yeah, man. Uh, so that is that for now. And then uh, I'll get back with you guys on the way home. And then uh, I'll start installing this baby. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like and how it works and uh, the whole process and whatnot. So in the meantime, just uh, me, I gotta drive back home an hour, but for you guys, it'll be instant, so just hang tight, and I'll be right there. Alright. Alright everybody, here it is. Here is the bumper. Now, will I be able to get this out with only one hand? Probably not. But, I think what we're gonna do is take it out, open it up, and then see kinda of how we gotta do to it. Installing this bad boy. Hopefully I can do it before dark sets in. I do need to drive to work tomorrow. So, do it. All right, so here is the bumper, all of the package and everything. This is from the inside. So this is the outside, and then right here, I believe, is where the tire carrier goes. And that is this guy. Right here, this thing is actually probably 25, 30 pounds, I'd say. Um, but now, in order to install this baby, we gotta take off this hitch because the bumper comes with one. So we gotta take the hitch off and then we gotta take the actual bumper off. So, uh, let me see if we can't figure out how to do that. All right, so here's all the hardware that the bumper came with. It gave me some LEDs for the license plate. I don't know if you can see them. Some LEDs there. And then also found this, a nice cool little sticker to go with everything. So that's cool. That came on uh, this box here. Um, no instructions, so I'm gonna have to try and figure out as we go along. Um, but yeah, let me grab my tools and then we'll start taking off this pitch and bump. All right, so the, the first thing that I'm doing here is I'm gonna remove both of the side steps on both sides so I can get better access to the bumper. Um, now, here is 
bolts here and here, which I already took out. And then there's also a couple bolts or screws that'll be on the inside of your wheel well um, that you also will have to take out. And then once you do that, uh, should it come out, there is like some connectors up in here. So be careful when you take those out to actually pull it off. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and do that. And then when we do the other side. Got both of the rear side stepped off. So now we can kind of see where these bolts are here. Um, both sides are off. I might actually run the insides out because there is some good about like some dirt in there and whatnot. Um, so when you're going to take them off, um, there's these clips here. Just want to be careful with them so that you don't break them here and here. And then there's also one more clip that goes like a, I forget what they call them, but it's these little guys here. Um, those guys are in there. I actually broke this one and the other one was just stuck, so I just ripped it out. Um, so when I go to put the, them back on, I'm probably just going to use zip ties to hold them on. Um, that makes it easier to take off again if I need to. Um, but yeah, so both of those are off. Now we can move on to actually taking the bumper off and the, the hitch off. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right, so before removing the actual bumper, I realized that the step pad here um, needs to come off first. Um, I went ahead and removed my license plate. Um, so we're gonna take the step pad off and then we'll work on removing these guys and then from there, we'll actually go ahead and move, remove the bumper. So for step pad, um, it's actually just a bunch of clips. So should just be able to kind of lift up on it and they should come undone. Kind of hear them pop in. And then, there we go. One more. Oh, that one actually broke. But no biggie. See if we can't get that with some pliers here. Well, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it out, but that's no no biggie because we're gonna replace this guy anyway. All right, so that's that. Um, once I figure out how to remove the lights, I'll come back and show you how to do that. Um, but yeah, so this is the actual bumper itself pretty solid um, and it's going to be replaced with this nice guy right here. All right, so to go ahead and remove the lights here, you're going to want to, so this is actually the cover here, it kind of goes in like that. There's, you just twist the light out and then there's these little brackets on the back and I push in the big one like that and then you just kind of push it right out. Just super easy. Um, both sides are out actually gave me a new bulb, so we'll see how those fit in. I don't know if they'll actually work or not, but we'll see. Um, and then, all right, so let's take the, uh, I think we gotta take the pitch on first, actually. So let's see here. Um, yeah, so we'll take this guy off the wiring first, and then this guy comes off, and then this guy. We both use the same, or sorry, this guy first, and then the bumper. Um, they both use the same bolts, so should be super easy, one then the other. All right, everybody, finally got the hitch and rear bumper off. I was having so much trouble, I actually had to go out and get some new tools because the tools that I had were, were stripping or rounding the bolts in there. So I had to go out and get this super expensive and industrial grade socket set. Um, once I got that, it was super easy. I finally got it all off. Um, now I just need to figure out how to actually put on that guy. So here's all the parts for it. Um, yeah. So I just need to figure out what they're for and where they go. Um, once I do that, I'll kind of walk you through it. The next day. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, I was working really late last night and it got to the point where it was like dark outside and there was no lighting. So I didn't film um, me actually putting the bumper on. Um, when I get back home, um, I'm actually running out to get some a couple 
couple things real quick and I'll explain that in a second. Um, when I get home, I'll kind of show you how I mounted it um, and like, you know, where all the bolts went and the bolts that I used and different things like that and how to make sure you put the tire carrier on properly and um, mount your license plate and everything and actually even, uh, we got the little license plate LED that they give you, uh, which is what I'm working on right now actually. Um, so. Um, I'm running out to my little local uh, advanced auto, just gonna pick up some wire. And what I'm gonna do is actually tap into the running lights of my rear tail light and run some wire from that out onto the, the swing arm and then connect it to that little LED light. That way um, I can, you know, make sure that my, my truck is legal on the road. Um, the last thing I need is, is some more tickets. Um, but yeah, so I'm running out to get some wire and then when I get back, I'll kind of show you my little process of getting everything set up. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. I talked to my roommate about it and uh, he knows a little bit more than I do, um, but we're both still kind of like, kind of noobs at this thing. So we'll, we'll kind of, we'll test it as we go along. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, I'm running out to to get some wire and uh, some little tubing that I can, you know, place the wires in to keep them keep them out of the the elements, um, if you will. Um, and then, you know, I'm also going to get a a strap to kind of connect to the actual bumper and the swing arm, so that way, when it opens, um, right now it has a tendency to want to swing all the way out, so it's like perpendicular to my car. Um, which like if in a t I'm in a tight parking lot, like that could be kind of dangerous. I don't want to hit anybody's car with my my spare tire or anything like that. So I'm gonna get a strap, um, kind of like how Jeeps have it actually. They have like a nice strap there um, to keep it from opening past uh, where they want it to open to. So I'm gonna grab one of those and uh, we'll look at how, how I mount that as well. Um, Everything like so far, it's been super easy to, to get on. I actually put the bumper on by myself, um, despite it being like probably 50 pounds, I would say. Um, I was able to put it on by myself last night in the dark um, with a bad back. Let me tell you, uh, it was not super easy to do by myself, but like you can do it if you really need to. Um, so I ended up doing that last night and Got it on uh, with no problems. Got the uh, spare tire on there, now it looks really cool. Um, I don't have like my new tires and stuff on there yet just because I'm not running those on the on the truck yet. So I don't have, I just have like the generic like stock, like crusty, you know, spare tire thing on there. Um, but it still looks really cool, I think. I think it looks really cool still. Um, and I cannot wait to get those new, new wheels and tires on this thing it's gonna look so good and i cannot wait um yeah if you guys have any uh questions as like through the process of like me doing everything i know i didn't actually film myself putting the bumper on and i apologize it just got so late in the day that it was dark outside and there's not a lot of light where i live um so it was would have been not great footage anyway so i figured i would just explain it to you the next day which is what i'm gonna do um and I'll kind of show you where all the bolts go and how I mounted it and uh, everything like that. So stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna go pick up some stuff real quick and then uh, we're gonna get this thing finished. That way I can drive to work um, without having to rely on my roommate, so yeah. All right, so here is kind of what I'm looking at. Here's the rear light. And uh, so the bottom light is running light, so when I go to flick on my lights, like my running lights, this one which should come on and there, therefore, with the way that this is wired, this little guy should come on right here and light up the license plate, hopefully. Um, so I basically just kind of splice the wires here, red being power and black being negative or ground or whatever. Sorry, can't see. Red power and then this guy is the negative or ground. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this kind of like blue tubing here and just kind of encase the wires in that. And then I'm, because it's blue, it didn't have any black at the source, so I'm just gonna wrap the whole thing in some of this uh, 
electrical tape. And what I'm gonna try and do is just kind of route it right through here, right along here, and then um, kind of zip tie it along right in through here to uh, make sure that it doesn't get snagged on anything. And then I also picked up some of this rope here. And what I'm gonna do is connect it to the bumper somehow. Excuse me, I keep burping. Um, connect it to the bumper. Um, not sure where, maybe like right here. And then just kind of connect it to um, probably this guy, maybe. Um, you can squeeze it through, sorry, this guy here. Um, squeeze it through this guy. And uh, that way, um, when, I'm, when I open the, uh, the arm, it doesn't swing out so wide like I was kind of explaining earlier. Right now, it just kind of wants to stay like that. Um, so hopefully with that new, that wa or sorry, with the rope on there, it will kind of stay right like this. And that way, and tight parking, it doesn't accidentally open up and, and hit another person's car. So, um, the bumper does not come with these clevis hooks. I've had these previously, um, and I just kind of put them on. Um. These are the old license plate lights here and there. What I'm gonna do is probably just kind of zip tie them up underneath, because um, I'm, I'm not trying to get rid of the wiring for that, because this is for towing, um, and that way I can still tow. Um, but this way, Doing it this way hopefully will work out so that um, the light works and everything. So kind of we're gonna test it here in a second um, and we'll, we'll see how it works. All right, so I got my running lights on here. Like I said earlier, the the uh, the lower light is the running light, so everything's spliced up. This one's on. Let's come around right front and check it out. There she is, all lit up and looking good. Sweet. Now, the light that they gave me is actually super cheap. And when they, there's a little nut, nut in here that you have to use to tighten it down. And when I was tightening it down, it actually broke the little plastic like harness for the light. So what I have right now is just kind of uh, some electrical tape kind of holding it in place. That way it won't loose when I'm, when I'm driving but everything works and I'm happy so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car off and kind of tighten up everything as far as wiring goes and then uh, well that'll be it and it'll be done and good to go and I'm happy one eternity later all right everybody here is the final product got the wiring all good to go got the um, kind of the restraint strap that I set up, good to go. All of the bolts are good to go. So I'll kind of show you uh, how I did that real quick. Um, so first, the bumper comes with this pin here. Just pull that up, arm swings out. And then I have that yellow rope that I mentioned, just to kind of hold it there, because like I said, you saw yesterday, um, the arm wants to swing all the way out uh, perpendicular to the, to the car, which is not uh, not ideal. Um, so let's open up and look at this. So actually the door clears it. So if it were to hit anything, it's gonna hit the tire first. Actually, I take that back. I take that way back. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's that. And then, so here's the wiring. Um, so, like I said, I hooked it to the running light for this guy. And I have it running through here, right through here. And then I have a zip tie. I need to turn these zip ties up a little bit, but I just kind of have it, uh, just kind of loop through there. And then the little light here actually is, is really bright, uh, to be honest. And I was surprised at how bright it was. Um, and then for the rope, I just kind of cut a piece and I just tied it off, looped it around through this hole there and, uh, called it good. 
uh, and then I just kind of burnt the end pieces. Um, this one I melted it together to the actual piece here. This one uh, is fine. Um, but actually for the mounting part, put that there. Um, if you come down here, you'll see. So that's the new bolt that they came with that it came with, and then there's two bolts here. Uh, let's see. There and there, there's two bolts. So those two bolts on both sides are the two bolts more towards the front, sorry, to the rear of the, of the truck are reused from the original bumper. Um, and then you kind of saw briefly, so the actual uh, the stock lights for the bumper, I just kind of zip tied kind of behind here. There's some little mounts on the back side of the uh, of the bumper that I just zip tied them to to kind of keep them out of the way. That way, because the uh, the towing cables are actually wired into the uh, old stock um, license plate lights, so I didn't want to kind of get rid of them. That way the wiring's not messed up for that. I didn't feel like doing anything with that. Um, but yeah, so that's that. It was actually really easy um, once I kind of figured out what I needed to do. Um, did not come with any instructions, unfortunately, which I think would have made it, made it a lot easier. But, um, you know, without being without having a guide I, I was able to figure it out and it, it, it works just fine um, I do really love it um, the only thing that I've noticed so far um, is that with this you know closed here it does block off a good bit of my you know rear window so it does kind of limit your view just a little bit um, but I think it is well worth it than having it up underneath the truck or how I had it previously um, on top of the roof. Um, another thing real quick is, so this part here, the actual the spare tire holder, um, you can adjust the how far it sticks out. So there's these bolts here, 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 and uh, here that you can adjust so that the way um, this piece actually slides out a little bit farther. That way, if you have a, a wider wheel than the stock wheel, this is the stock spare tire. Um, that way, if you have a wider wheel, uh, you can, you don't have to worry about it, you know, hitting, hitting the actual, the swing arm or anything. And that way, um, you know, you can make room for it. Um, so when I go to put on my, my new tires and everything, my spare tire for that, um, I'm probably going to have to adjust this a little bit because the, the new tires, I believe are two inches wider than the stock tires. So probably like sticking off that much more so it's probably gonna rub so I'm probably gonna have to adjust it but um yeah man so like as far as everything goes like the hardest part was was figuring out the wiring for a little LED light for the license plate um you know what I ended up doing I, I grabbed some of this tubing here um and I just kind of wrapped it in that black like electrical tape to kind of protect it and the wires are just kind of just sliding through there and it, it works out perfectly um, it looks really nice um, and I love you know I love this purchase I don't have any regrets from, from buying it the only uh, thing that I you know a little nervous about um, is that they did not give me enough screws to replace the old screws so um, I might end up going out and buying some newer screws to replace the old screws from the from the uh, original bumper. Um, that way, it just has new everything to make sure that's nice and secure on there. Um, but other than that, like, can't complain. I really do enjoy this uh, with a little bit of, that I've you know got to experience with it. Um, I drove to work with it today. And no issues there. Um, everything looks 
still like it's still secure and everything um and it you know works out really cool and i think it looks really good as well um and, and that's how you kind of close it off and it's good to go and then i have this this rope here i just kind of like pinch it to get to one side here pinch it to the side to kind of keep it looking nice and then the wiring kind of loops through like that um it's not ideal like it, ideally it would come through go into the arm and everything but the arm is i believe is solid or there's no really entry points into the arm to make that happen so uh this is this is the best thing that i can come up with and uh it'll get the job done and i think it's it's secure enough that it will not you know get caught on anything or you know, torn or anything um just kind of push it down in there good looking good but yeah um so as of right now this is kind of the current setup that i'm running got that spare tire carrier on the back stock wheels um i'm rolling with a yakima surfboard rack right now um so it is summertime and i do enjoy going to the beach and doing beach activities um got the light bar i believe it's a 40 inch light bar curved light bar that i'm running um if you want to see how i installed that and the wiring for that you can check out that other video on my channel and then i am running some halos right now halo uh hid headlights and then the smaller uh, i believe it's like a 13 inch light bar in the bumper um and then soon to come is new tires and i believe that we will start looking uh even better cannot wait to kind of get some uh off-road time with this guy i think it'll be really fun my roommate's looking at getting a jeep so we're gonna have some fun going on some trails together going camping and uh you know pulling people out of snow banks when it snows down here in virginia and everyone freaks out and forgets how to drive um but i can't really say much more because i'm from maryland but other than that yeah so this is kind of what i'm looking at right now and uh if you want to see what the wheels and tires that i'm running uh gonna be running here in the near, near future you can uh, check out my instagram and yeah that's all for now guys um, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, feel free to drop a comment down below. And don't forget, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, I don't always do just Xterra stuff. Um, I do other vlogs and different types of things that I enjoy doing. Um, if you want to see more of that stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's all for now, guys. Take care.